what's up guys in today's video i'll be going over the hash set class in the set interface and collections framework uh if you're trying to dabble in java getting familiar with the collections framework is very important especially if you're going to be dealing with data um collections in java is a framework that provides us um how to store and manipulate the group of objects that we have Java collections can achieve all the operations that you perform on data, such as like searching, uh, sorting, insertion, uh, manipulation, and deletion. Uh, Java collection means a single unit of objects. Java collection framework provides many interfaces um, so that you see here like set, uh, list, queue, DQ, and classes like array list, vector, link list, priority queue, linked hash set, and tree set and hash set which I will be going over later on in the video. Um, you might be asking what is collection in Java? Uh, a collection represents a single unit of objects like a group and a framework in Java it provides ready-made architecture and it represents a set of classes and interfaces and it is optional. A uh, collection framework represents a unified architecture for storing and manipulating a group of objects. It has, like I said, its interfaces and, it, and its implementation classes, and also algorithms, which is important. Alright, so we're starting off with set. Set is a child interface of collection. Um, a set is a collection of objects that cannot contain duplicate elements. Uh, it models itself after the mathematical set abstraction, which means um, that is an abstract data type that can store unique values, but not in any particular order. The set method doesn't come with any new methods. It comes with the methods from collection. All right, so um, I just wanted to get back to this slide so I could talk about the different classes in set. Um, all three sets are implementations in the collection framework and like the others all they do are used to store objects um, the main feature of a tree set is sorting the main feature of a linked hash set is insertion order and the main feature of the hash set is just general purpose collection for storing object objects um, hash set is implemented using hash map in Java while the tree set is implemented using a tree map uh, and the tree set is a sorted set implementation which allows it to keep elements in the sorted order defined by either the comparable or comparator interface. Uh, compar comparable is used for natural, natural order sorting and comparator is used for custom ordering uh, sorting of objects which can be provided while creating an instance of a tree set. Um, now if a bunch of this is sounding really confusing um, you know, it's, pers it's perfectly normal to feel frustrated. Um, I personally wanted to just walk into traffic sometimes or um, just shatter my computer or jump out the window. But um, really, any of the following reactions is normal. All right, now that we're going to get deeper into the hash set, the number one thing you should know, the underlying data structure for a hash set is a hash table. Um, a hash table is actually a hash map instance. A hash table uses a hash function to compute an index into an array of buckets or slots from which the desired value could be found. Another important thing is duplicates are not allowed. Even if you do add a duplicate by accident, it will run. There will be no compile time error or runtime exception. It will simply return false. Uh, another important thing is insertion order is never preserved. They will be inserted based on hash code of objects. Um, hash code, simply put, returns an integer value generated by a hashing algorithm. Um, heterogeneous objects are allowed. Heterogeneous objects are filled with different data types, so you can have strings and integers in the same object. Um, no segregation. Another thing is null insertion is possible in hash set and you can also implement the serializable and clonable interface but not random access. And the most important thing is hash set is the best choice of our frequent operation is search operation. The reason is because the main feature of hash, hash set is uh, fast searching which it achieves using hashing. 
Now suppose we want to search if an element exists in a hash set. It can be done using contains method in hash set. It will first calculate the hash code of the given object. And then based on that hash code, it will go to a bucket and check all the elements inside the bucket using the member function. All right, so now I'm going to go over the constructors for a hash set. <clears throat> Before, I want to start talking about the load factor. The load factor is a measure of how full the hash table is allowed to get before its capacity is automatically increased. So when the number of entries in the hash table exceeds the product of the load factor in the current capacity which you're placing it in, the hash table is rehashed, which means the internal data structures are rebuilt so that the hash table has a approximately twice the number of buckets so the initial capacity of a hash set is 16 so when the load factor uh, is 75 percent is reached so 75 percent of 16 is 12 so once it gets to 12 on the insertion of the 12th element the capacity is doubled it becomes 32 okay now uh, the first constructor is used to construct a default hash set the second one, it is used to initialize the capacity of the hash set to give an integer value capacity. The capacity glow, uh, grows automatically as elements are added to the hash set. The third one is used to initialize the capacity of the hash set to give an integer value capacity and the specified load factor. The fourth one, it is used to initialize the hash set by using the elements of the collection. Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use a hash set in Java. I'm using IntelliJ right now. So you want to do is get your hash set in. Uh, I'm going to be using strings. I'm going to call it example, uh, new hash set, um, stupid keyboard. Um, so for my example, I'm just going to be talking about stuff that I eat every day that I like. Um, let's see, cookies. Because I love cookies. Uh, example, another one. Add um, ice cream. I got to eat ice cream every day. I ain't spell it right, but it's all right. Uh, another one is Twix. I love Twix. Um, and then another one, Nutella. I got to have Nutella every day. Um, and then now I'm going to add cookies again just to show you that it won't it won't allow it to work at all all right i messed up here stupid keyboard dot add and then if if you if you don't if you if you spell cookies with a lowercase c then it would insert it cuz um they have different uh values all right so now i'm just going to print it just to show you what happens if you do add the same object? All right, it compiles. As you can see, there is only one cookies down here, and they didn't come out in any particular order. I had cookies first. Okay, let's see what they say about cookies. Warns of a map key or set information was written. All right, so basically, whenever you get something wrong, it'll let you know what you're doing wrong. Um, you see here it says duplicating key A, so it wouldn't allow it. Um, now, if you want to do an iterator over the string, this is how you do it. So it's going to be iterator. Hold on. String, iterator, string. Um, iterator equals the name of the hash set, which is example. Oh, I, I got to spell while with a lowercase c. Uh, yeah, so Java's crazy. If, um, if you get your spelling wrong, it will not run. It's very strict like that. Java don't play it. Um, let's see. All right. Okay, yeah, see, parentheses are very important. You want to put the parentheses wrong, and your whole system crashes. There's, nothing is going to run. So make sure you get every word spelled right. It's very important um, and that that's what leads to frustration sometimes so you got a name all right and I'm just gonna print it out now and then you can see how it iterates over it and then it comes out in no particular order name and then let's run it 
see how that works. And it iterates over them. And you see cookies doesn't show up again. Um, yeah, so that's basically it.